What happens if they buy them online right now, in the trio? That, I wonder whether they'd be instantaneously available. It's the third year. The first year was in San Francisco. The second year was in Chicago. And New York, the biggest yet. It's like a science museum meets a circus. The difference between a trade show and this is that these aren't products. These are all inventions in process. And the people who are showing them aren't booth babes. They're the actual PhDs and scientists who made them. These are our rock stars. These are the robots. The ability of robots to capture the imagination has always been a part of fiction. But now that we have robots that walk, the, the slight physics, the swaying, the fact that they have to maintain their balance feels so human. It's, they feel sentient. You feel like, oh my god, they're finally real. That's the magic of motion. And that's why I think we're in the golden age of robotics right now, because we finally managed to, to cross that, that barrier and go from the fictional walking robots to the real ones. Of the exhibits are brand new and we bring them in. That's what we do all year is we identify the exhibits, we do all the logistics of bringing them in. I can tell you that importing robots and getting them through customs is tricky. We've lost a couple on customs. people said, you know what, we don't need NASA. We can do this ourselves. And the X Prize, which was a $10 million prize to get to space, stimulated dozens and dozens of you know, individuals, small companies, amateurs, you know, academic groups to actually try it. This Spaceship One was the Burt Rutan project that actually won the prize. Space tourism, again, a concept we've been talking about probably since Arthur C. Clarke, is now going to be a reality. And for two million virgin frequent flyer miles, you can get a seat on Spaceship Two, which, as you can see, is the is the mock-up that's just being revealed uh, here at NextFest. Twice the size, seat six, very cool interior. Really does look like that Pan Am Galactic from 2001, and it's probably going to happen in the next two or three years. Every year, it pretty much doubles in size. Every year we get better at it. Every year it gets easier to do because people get the concept. You know, the world needs world's fairs.